What is up, posterity? It's uh, November 15th, 2013. Just dropped the kids off at school. And I have some computer work to do, so I thought I'd swing by Starbucks and get some work done here for a little bit, just to get out of the house, do something a little different. You can tell that Trinity's getting ready for a dance competition because she's already started laying out her costumes here. You can see, hey, you can say hello. Hello. <laughs> this is Noelle working in her scrap room. This is what I do for work. Look at this work, look at this workplace. Look at this mess. <laughs> I was getting ready for my voice lesson today. That's right, I take voice lessons. For the last few months I've been doing that and that's because I've always wanted to be able to sing and I've never had any training, so I've been taking voice lessons, learning how to sing uh, actually a few different songs so far. I've been singing the same ones over and over, but because the holidays are coming up, I decided to try learning a new song. And I was looking for a non-religious holiday song that I really like, and this is what I came up with. This song right here, Silver Bells. So I'm gonna start singing this song today, uh, start learning it, and maybe I'll be able to actually sing it successfully by the time the holidays come around. Now that I got the boys, it's time to start Boys Night, which is every Friday night because Trinity and Noelle have dance all night on Friday. Woo. So we call Friday night Boys Night. And our tradition is that we go get Jamba Juice because that's delicious. And fries. And, beca and because it's not too filling, we also go get french fries. That kind of rounds out the whole Boys Night meal experience. So yeah, basically dinner on Friday nights is Jamba Juice and french fries, which is not healthy at all. But we eat pretty healthy the rest of the week, so, you know, one meal in the week to have it be total junk food like that. I mean, Jamba Juice is not total junk food, but it depends on which drink you get, I guess. Okay, go. Dad, like, this is good, but this is good TV. Hold it right. Ready? Come on in, climb up. Yeah, that's not weird at all just to order three boxes of french fries and nothing else. That's what everybody does. That's why you go to In-N-Out Burger, right? <laughs> that's the best license plate ever, I have to say. How did they get that? That's awesome. What's gonna happen? I'm about to perform my solo. Say that again louder. I'm going to perform my solo. What, do you, what, what kind of dance is it? Lyrical. Actually classified as contemporary tonight. Contemporary. It's called candlelight. The light. Oh, you're dancing candlelight. That was awesome. Good job, Fred. That was awesome. You finished? You finished? And he goes, like, goes, that was impressive. She was amazing. She was amazing, seriously, that was awesome. And you know what, the video's not gonna do it justice, but that's all right, it was awesome. <laughs> there was a lot about today that was fun, but my favorite part was watching Trinity dance, and I just found out that she won awards for both of her dances, and one of them for her ballet was a diamond award, which is the very highest that you can get, and hardly anybody gets that one, so I'm very proud of her. Ah, what a great day. That's it for today, good night.